All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x plus five to the power of x is equal to seven. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor out five to the power of x from my left-hand side. So now I have five to the power of, oops, sorry. Five to the power of x times one plus one is equal to seven. One plus one is two, so I have five to the power of x times two is equal to seven. Now I can divide both sides by two. So I get phi to the power of x is equal to seven over two. Now to solve this, I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I have log phi to the power of x is equal to log seven over two. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is, I can actually move my x want to be here to the front, so I get b times log a. So in this case, I have log phi to the power of x, so I can move x to the front, and I get x times log five is equal to log seven over two. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log seven over two, That's gonna equal log seven minus log two. Now, I'm gonna divide both sides by log five. So then these two cancel out and I get X is equal to log seven minus log two over log five. So log of seven here, this is equal to 0 0.8451. Log two, this is equal to 0 0.3010. And finally, log five, this is equal to 0 0.6990. So now I'm gonna have x is equal to log seven minus log two, so 0 0.8451 minus 0 0.3010, all over 0 0.6990 meaning x is equal to 0 0.5441. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of x plus 16. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the ln or natural log on both sides. So now I have ln x to the power of x is equal to ln of four to the power of x plus 16. Now if I have something, uh, if I take the ln of something in the form a to the power of b, and I can move this exponent b to the front. So this could equal b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x move x to the front and ln four to the power of x plus 16, I can move x plus 16 to the front. So now I have x times ln x is equal to x plus 16 times ln four. Now if I distribute the ln four, I get x times ln four plus 16 times ln four. Now if I subtract, x times ln four on both sides. These two cancel out and I get x times ln x minus x times ln four is equal to 16 times ln four. Now I can go ahead and factor out x from here. So I get x times ln x minus ln four is equal to 16 times ln four.
Now ln x minus ln 4, that's simply equal to ln x over 4. So I have this is equal to 16 times ln 4. And now This is essentially saying that x over 4 is equal to 4 over here. These two are equal to each other. So if x over 4 is equal to 4, this means that x is equal to 16. Because these two have to match up as well. So now to check, let me plug this in over here. So if I plug in 16 over here, I get 16, because x over here, 16 times ln, 16 divided by 4 is 4. So I get 16 times ln 4 is equal to 16 times ln 4. So this works. Now for method 2, sorry, a method 2 for to check, I have x to the power of x equals 4 to the power of x plus 16. x equals 16, so I have 16 to the power of 16 is equal to 4 to the power of 32. 16 is 4 squared, so I have 4 squared to the power of 16 is equal to 4 to the power of 32, meaning 4 to the power of 32 is equal to 4 to the power of 32. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. So to solve this problem, I absolutely want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. And now I'm going to write 2048 here as 2 times 1024. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, a is 2, m is 2, and n is 1024. So if I rewrite this in this form, I get 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 1024. And remember, this is equal to x to the power of x. Now, 2 to the power of 2, and that's equal to 4. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 1024. Now, I'm going to repeat what I did just did again. So 1024, that's equal to 2 times 512. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 2 times 512. And again, this is equal to x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 512. 4 to the power of 2 is 16. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 512. Now 512 I can rewrite as 256 times 2. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 2 times 256. Now this, I'm going to do the same thing again. So I have 16 to the power of 2 to the power of 256. And 16 to the power of 2, that's equal to 256. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 256 to the power of 256. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, x is equal to 256. And to test this, I'm going to plug this in. So I have 256 in for x. So I have 256 to the power of 256 is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. And remember, we just wrote all of this, so we know that 2 to the power of 2048 is equal to 2 to the power of 2048.